Hi and welcome back to the channel. So you've just gone and brought your new Steam Deck, you've gone to load up your favourite game and bang, you're hit with a non-playable game or non-Steam Deck verified game and you're thinking, my god, what has Andy done? He's made me go and spend loads of money on this device for it not to work. But well, don't worry, I've got you covered. So the good thing is there is different versions of Proton that aren't necessarily released in Steam OS at the particular time that you can pull in using something called Proton UpQt. Now, if you're not fully familiar with what Proton is, Proton is basically a Windows compatibility layer to make Linux gaming work smoothly. So the good thing is using Pro Proton Up QT, we can basically pull through the latest Proton versions or the experimental versions to actually help the playability and compatibility of a lot of the games. And at the very end of this video, I'll also cover off the best places to kind of find what compatibility layers and Proton versions you might want to use for each game. So please stay tuned. So for installing Proton QT, the first thing we're going to need to do is switch to desktop mode. Now you do this by pressing the Steam button, it's the simplest way, clicking on power and switch to desktop. Now once we're in the desktop mode, what we need to do is bring up the Discovery app, which is under Systems and Discover. And in the search, a couple of ways you can do this. I always just search for Proton, and you'll be looking for Proton Up QT. As you can see, I've already got mine installed. But if you don't at this point, then you just click Install, and off you go. Now, once installed, you'll be able to find the application under Utilities. I'll just move this into the center. And if you wanted to add a version at any point here, you just click on add version and it'll pull up the latest versions. Now there are other compatibility tools in here. If you want to know a little bit more about each of those, all you need to do is drop down. Now I will need Steam to open um, for what I'm going to do and it, for some reason I couldn't get it to open. Now if you do ever get this problem, if you go to the systems monitor and kill Steam, that will solve it. What you'll have to do is then reboot or go into desktop mode and back out, which is what I'm going to do in a minute because you'll notice Steam still wasn't playing ball, so I just went back to desktop mode and then come back into or gaming mode, come back into desktop mode and then relaunch Steam. And I'll just drag it over. So if you ever find Steam mode load in desktop mode, that is most likely why. I think mine needed an update, that's what caused it. But what I wanted to show you on here is how to add Proton as a non-Steam game to your library. So this is just so it's available in the gaming mode, it makes things a lot simpler. And then we'll finish the video with going through how you then apply a different Proton version to a, to a game. So it's quite really simple, straightforward guide this. So we just add that selected program. And again, what we'll have to do here is shut Steam down, return to gaming mode, and then in gaming mode, it will be under library and it will be under non-Steam. then under non-Steam, we'll just go down to where Proton is. And you can favourite this, so you can add this to your favourites just by clicking on options and, and selecting that and adding it into your favourites to make things a bit easier. Now, once I would say one of the things we'll do is we will change the controlling method um, in a second because as default, it is particularly difficult because it will try to use the gamepad. You can get around this if you've got a keyboard and mouse attached like I did at the time, so I could get away with it. But what I suggest you do is go into here and select a current layout and swap to most likely the simplest one is mouse point and click and then you'll just be able to use the touch screen and drag it that way. And you can install different versions of Proton from there now directly from the gaming mode. Now to apply it to a game, let's just take Heavy Rain for example. If 
we go into the options and then properties, what we can do is under compatibility, turn on a force use of specific compatibility tool and then just select whatever Proton version we want. So I'll go with the latest at the time recording this video. And that's now using that. And I will just click play and load up the game. So yeah, that's how to basically apply a Proton version to a game, how to link it into Steam just to make you know the gameplay mode just to make it a little bit more simple and yeah that's it really and that's heavy rain loaded up um, quite happily with that version of proton now to get an idea of the best versions for proton just simple google will get you most of your answers there is no definitive though. so i promised you at the very start of the video that i would show you the protondb.com database now this is really useful because it will enable you to look through various games to see one if they're playable if they're verified or unsupported because although steam are very good at updating their verified list sometimes even the verified stuff needs a little tweak just to give you the maximum performance or playability so if i just did a quick explore on here now they've kind of used very different uh, terminology so i love the balked from pubg now, you will be able to find bits in here about anti-cheat. So anything that says easy anti-cheat, normally you'd have to use something like Windows 10 to solve that problem because Steam OS doesn't necessarily play well. There are some games that you know you can solve using various different bits. But let's let's just take GTA for example. Now it's come up gold. You know, it says Steam Deck playable, but not necessarily fully verified. But what you can do is kind of look through here and see the very differences that people have played around with to, to get solved. So these are some of the solutions that people have put in. And I think that's one of the great things about one Steam community and to the Steam Deck itself, that you can tweak stuff about to kind of improve your experience. So this site is really, really useful. So yeah, give it a give it a go. And if you have any challenges or you want to know a little bit more on a particular game, maybe, and what ProtonDB version you want to use, just stick something in the comments.